you know, maps are really easy for a lot of people to understand, and they might not read a report or um, understand necessarily some other formats where complex topics are being discussed, but a map makes it easy to see and easy for you to find your place in it because we use iconography that's hopefully rather simple. People can go from place to place with it and share ideas more easily. So that's how I think it could help. Potentially the green map icons can also be used on site in an occupation place to let people know here is where you can compost or recycle or help power the place by pedaling the, the energy bikes. The newest green map project is Occupy Philly. <laughs> so um, there's a great connection there. I'm really interested in this and the idea that we can use green maps to help chart the way forward and help people envision someplace new. I'd love to get involved with your conversation mm -hmm. about the Occupy the Future. I think it sounds really great. Um, this is uh, authentic democracy mm -hmm. and it's the par kind of participation that we've needed for a long time in this country where people feel like they're, they're being heard and that there's not alone in feeling this isolation and this unfairness that's so strong in the country. So um, viva la 99%. Mm -hmm. So a uh, green map is a locally made map that uses green map icons to chart nature culture, uh, social impacts, and uh, green living resources. And because they're made locally, they have different audiences and different purposes, different formats, but the real idea is helping people make the connection to resources in their own community for living uh, a healthier, greener, and a better life. Um, we include cultural resources because they're really never separated from what we need uh, to be to live a, for community well-being, for um, sustainability. Um, we include positive and negative sites. It's really a local decision of what to include. But for many people, this is you've got people thinking and acting. Let's show. Let's get some challenges up there that we can address as a community as well.